Today on How It's Won, a brush motor would or break in with a power supply. How these little motors can last longer and make more power with just a few simple tricks. To break in your motor, you'll need CRC electric parts cleaner, a good quality bushing oil, a medium sized jar with clean water, either regular water or distilled, compressed air, preferably from an air compressor, but a can of air will work well. Most importantly, you will need a good power supply. Before breaking in, the motor is checked at three volts. Typically a new motor before being broken in pulls between 2.3 to 2.6 amps. Now the motor is dropped into a jar of water. The technician secures the motor to the jar so that the rotor does not touch or contact any of the sides causing interference. The technician now brings out the power supply, connecting the red lead to the red and the black lead to the black. The technician will now set the amp draw for 5 amps. While breaking in, the motor will typically pull between 0.8 to 1.2 volts. As the motor breaks in, the amperage will stay at 5 amps, but the voltage will rise. This is a sign that the motor is breaking in correctly. The technician will now set a 20 minute timer and will come back in 20 minutes to check to see the status of the motor. After 20 minutes, the technician disconnects the motor and will now remove the motor and exchange the water for new, clean, fresh water. There is a line of gray material around the water line. It's very important to change the water to keep the water fresh and clean so as not to score the commutator. With a fresh jar of water, the motor technician puts the motor back into the water and will hook up the leads to the power supply. Again, they will run the motor at 5 amps for another 20 minutes. During this second run, the voltage will continue to increase. That is a good sign. We would like to see the voltage increase as much as 1.3 to 2.0 volts. Not all motors are the same, so the results will be variable. The timer is once again set, and now the technician will wait. The technician pulls the motor. This time the water is visibly much cleaner than before, but the technician will now clean out the motor with some compressed air, spray the commutator with electrical cleaner, and once again they will use compressed air to blow out more of the excess cleaner. A small amount of bushing oil is added to each bushing on both ends. In order to work the bushing in, the motor technician will turn the motor in the forward direction only. It's very important not to run the motor backwards. With the brushes now seated, the motor technician puts the motor back into a jar of water and will do a short run of 10 minutes at 5 amps just to make sure the motor is cleaned out and ready to go. While you might be able to skip this step, it's always good to do a quick clean run, either 5 to 10 minutes to make sure all the excess brush material has now been removed. It is important to note though, it's not always best to break in the motor for very long periods of time. This can cause excessive wear on the brushes and lead to motor failure sooner. So, be very cautious about how long you are breaking in your motor. For this motor, the technician will be running it for 10 minutes and now sets the timer. With the final water bath, the technician pulls the motor out and now will begin the cleaning process once more. First, some compressed air. Next, some electrical contact cleaner to clean up the commutator. Then, some more compressed air to blow out the excess of the material. A small drop of oil on each bushing, making sure to slowly turn the motor in the direction of forward rotation. Now the best part, to see how this motor turned out. 
the motor technician will hook it back up to the power supply and then they will run it at 3 volts and we're going to see what the amp draw is. Before break-in, at 3 volts the motor only pulled 2.3 to 2.4 amps. Now at 3 volts the motor is pulling 3.6 amps so there is definitely a big improvement over the initial run of the motor. Finally, the motor technician notes the amp draw on the motor. Now the motor technician will place the motor inside of a motor safe container. This will keep any of the tabs or wires from being bent or broken in transit. Hey! Thanks for watching How It's One. If you want to find out more information about brush motors, we're going to be doing more videos in the future, and so this is going to be an ongoing series. Also, if you want to find out more information right now, check out the video in the upper right hand corner for more theory and talk about breaking in brush motors. Until then, like, subscribe, leave comments, and check out some of our other racing and tech videos. See you later.